Hiya! Welcome back to some more. What was that sound? What was that? <laughs> uh, this guy, I don't know where he keeps spawning, but apparently there's some dark spot in this hall or in that hall somewhere, and he keeps spawning, and he's going to this villager that's underneath here somewhere. And he just stands there, and I can, like, poke him around and do stuff. And he doesn't care, he's just gonna go back to that villager. Uh... Yeah, so today, I had... I have plans. Plans that revolve around sheep. Making a sheep shearing facility, which makes me worry, because... This whole mob farm that I created right here... I think it would be affected if I made a big sheep facility and there was a whole bunch of sheep and all those sh what is this and all those sheep would just uh take up the mob count and stop this from working so well but you know I kind of I kind of half expected that already if I'm going to have any farms in here it's going to ruin the mob count and uh it's probably going to make this completely superfluous over here this whole mob spawner thing and I'm probably gonna have to make this mob spawner somewhere else which I'm completely okay with with the excess of cobble I have it's no big deal but just in case just in case it I still have a chance I'm going to make the sheep farm or the sheep facility or whatever here or here probably here no 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 here here I like here yeah here and I'll make it go this direction for a while so it doesn't like interfere with the mob count maybe I think it has to be 128 blocks away and I don't think that I'm going to achieve that but you know it's all it's it's good to have hopes and dreams that that my mob spawner won't be deactivated after I make the sheep farm but I just really need a good intake of wool so I can be able to do a whole bunch of stuff I think wool would be an excellent it's it even though we have hardened clay which I think is like superior wool is colored differently uh, with different dyes and it's it's really easy to get so and it's, it could be excellent for I don't know just going around and making big pixel arts of Mega Man I'm probably not gonna do that I don't really like pixel art but anyways I need to repair this pick so but I had this idea uh, Oliver right here he's on breaking 3 efficiency 4 and I want him to be efficiency 5, and I think the only way to do that is to get another efficiency 4 book or an efficiency 4 diamond pick. So, I made a diamond pick, and I'm gonna enchant it, and if it's on breaking 3 efficiency 4, which is a fairly common enchantment, I'll just combine the two and make Oliver into a mining machine. I also need to refurbish this whole place, because it looks ugly, especially this. Blech. I think TJ was nice enough to do all this wood thing, but he didn't really finish all of it. And it kind of just looks out of place. I don't know, I might I might change it. Okay, 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 okay. I need to do the same thing that we did last time. I need, I need some kind of magical hand gesture, something that's gonna summon the Minecraft gods and make it, make this enchantment in our favor. So, on the count of three, you gotta do that magical flicky thing, and I know that you did it wrong last time. But I'm giving you a second chance. Alright? It's forgiveness. It's, it's mercy, alright? So, one, two, three. Ah, frick you, man! Ah! You did it wrong again. Ah! Ah, oh, jeez. You need practice. You need a load of practice. That is not how... It, you did the same exact thing twice. Wow, you didn't even try anything different. Got two unbreaking, three diamond picks. I think I lost one because I, I died in lava, but you know, now we have another Unbreaking 3 diamond pick. <sighs> That's a nice one. I don't think I can combine that, though. Way to go, guy. Way to go. You messed it up. Well, look who we have here. Just look who decided to show up. It's the blaze farm that I was gonna use. Yeah! That's not cool. He's completely AFK right now. He's been AFK for a good while. Yeah, an hour, I'd say. I'm just gonna let him off with a warning this time. Oh, that doesn't fit. And I'll mark it 
as S because we're creepy. No, I'll do soapy. <laughs> I'll let you live. Soap, soap, soap. <laughs> Just some friendly intimidation. You know, I had to use another sign. Alright, so, back to the matter at hand. Uh, we're gonna be making a sheep farm. And I already have, I, I dug out the space for it. This is actually, I recorded this a few days after I recorded the last part of this episode. So, it, there's been a bit that has happened since then. I dug out a whole bunch. I don't have any sound, do I? No, I don't. Let's make some sound. And here's some vacuum cleaners. Everybody's doing yard work this time of year. Okay, anyway, this is the space that I've dug out. And I thought that we would have some fun and do it. Shut up! Shut up! I don't think you can hear me. We're gonna have. I know the dirt has a. I know the dirt has a lower blast radius. Oh my god, they're so annoying. Has a lower blast radius than a. or like a blast resistance than stone. But you know what? I'm just gonna blow it up anyway. I wanna see what happens. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to light all of them. That was that was cool. That actually worked pretty well. Look at that. Those are very minimal errors that I have to fix. I don't know how this happened though. It's weird how it like just chose this dirt and this dirt to blow up. Got some iron though. <laughs> I also upgraded Oliver. I took away his name, but I gave him efficiency five and fortune two. So he's a bit faster now, and I can mine coal and stuff with him without feeling like I'm wasting fortune ability, you know. Uh, now let's just go like one here, and uh, one there, and one, one there. Yeah, you know what, let's just do that. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, you didn't blow up? Oh no. I like having a whole bunch of gunpowder at my disposal. It's so much fun. Be able to do this instead of just mining. Even though it's a lot messier. Can't deny that it's not fun. Uh, I'll do one more in. And one here. <laughs> okay, I'll be back after I clear out more room for this. One thing that I was thinking about as I was making this, I was like, I don't have any sheep, and I, I kind of need that for a sheep farm. It's I'm pretty sure it's on the list of things needed for a sheep farm. You need sheep. So I'm just going to go exploring for... I, I think I know where a few sheep are because I went over here before and I saw a few. So maybe I'm going to make more leads, and I'm going to try and get them to follow me that way because I think that's better than... Uh, than having the food, because that's always so slow. Uh, I got slime balls, and I need string. I got six string here. It's like this, right? Yeah. Okay, that's three. Should probably get. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Alright, so five. I, I just want four, because I think that would, that would save me a lot of time. Uh, I can put this stuff away. Alright, so we're off to find some sheep. I hate the sound of the rain. It's so peaceful now. We have a whole bunch of villagers that just decided that they would leave my island and just come and, like, disperse themselves around in this sea. For whatever reason, I don't know. Maybe they- God damn it, squid! I don't even want- I don't want your sack. Okay, anyway, I think we're almost here anyway. Uh. This is actually where I was going to make the sheep farm. And it seemed like a really awesome idea, but then I was I was just thought it would be too much work and it was just hard to organize and hard to get up there and I just got bored with the idea, but we have this this cool cliffside over here. And uh it's it's really nice looking. And I was going to make like compartments for the sheep and it seems like it would be a really cool idea, but it just I don't know, kind of, the more I worked on it, I was, and imagined it in my head, I was just like, eh, bleh, bleh. can I sleep off this rain? No, I think we have someone else on, right? Oh, no. Oh, he's in the nether, right? No more rain? 
Rain Rain go away? Yes. 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 I'm gonna turn my particles back. No. Oh. Alright. Sorry about that. Uh. I hit full screen, and that's one thing that really annoys me. Since I record in full screen, because I want to get to get the actual like 1080p resolution, my monitor is 1080p. I uh, I record in full screen, and that is it's just so annoying that when you hit F11 to go out or into full screen mode, it it starts a new window. It actually closes the Minecraft program, and then it opens it again in another window. Okay, so we got we got a few sheep. We got. Did one just die on me? Okay, we we had we had four sheep. We, God, these mobs are so stupid. Here, you're coming with me. Fourth sheep. Come on, come on. Oh, he lost. I lost my lead too. Okay, I feel like uh, I don't know what I feel like right now. Spider Man. Web go, web go. Or what? What is? Go web go. <laughs> oh, that's. Good times. Oh, I, how fast can I run? Oh, I think I broke one. Yeah, I broke one. Uh, is there any way of getting them back? If you break them, what? Oh, yeah. Good, good, good. Alright, come on, guys. Come on. Go, Web, go. <laughs> Ow, it looks like it's going into their eye. Ew. Must be painful. It's like catching a fish. All right, I'm gonna turn my back on you guys. You guys better be following me. Yeah, that's that. That's good. Keep it coming. You guys are gonna have sexy time, and you're gonna start a whole population of sheep for me. Out of you four guys, who are probably part of a family. That's gross. All right. Uh, how well can you traverse these? Not very well, apparently. Uh, let's just go around. Let's go around. It's weird because like if you turn away too far, like look, the leads like stop loading. So uh, I just, <laughs> it makes me feel like I lost them, but apparently I I don't. Ugh. I mean these are still pretty early on in the game. This feels really powerful though. Look at all these. I got like webs coming out of my fingers. Just pulling them in. All right. So we're gonna take this underground t ugly tunnel of mine that hasn't been renovated that I use for my horse. Come on, guys! I don't want to break the lead on you, Jimster. Come on, Jimster! Please, oh, don't fall down! Don't! No! 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 Don't fall down! Don't fall down! Okay. Okay. Don't fall down. It's a bad place. Bad place down there. You can fall down here. This is a good place. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Go, Web, go! Alright. Once we get to the bottom, I think we can just walk, right? Yeah, they'll keep up. Look at this. These guys are... Oh, this is so much better than having wheat. Don't fall... I don't think they'll fall in there anyway. I don't think they can fit. This is so much better than having wheat before, because they would move so slowly it was annoying. Oh, this is awesome. I can just keep... Keep walking. I can, I can just turn my back and keep walking. And nothing's going to happen to them. This is awesome. Still got everybody. Come on down. One of you guys is still naked, but that's all right. I'm just gonna let them free roam around in the the sheep room that I made. Don't get stuck in the door. Back. I don't want that same cow glitch that happened to these guys that happened to them, where they just take damage in walls. That was frustrating as anything. Also, uh, I, I think I should mention this. I got a, uh, I ordered a mic stand and a pop filter. So, look forward to better audio. I have a Blue Yeti, so it's a, it's a pretty good USB microphone. But, um, I just have it, like, sitting on my desk. And one of the annoying things that, it, at least, it, at least it annoys me, is, like, when I type loudly, like, when I type something into chat, you hear that, like, deep, bassy push down of the keyboard sound, and I really don't like that. And that's going to be gone because the mic won't be resting on my desk anymore. It will be up in the air. The most you'll hear is a bit of clicking. Uh, how do I... That is cool. I like leads. Leads are cool. Okay, I had four, right? Donde? Okay, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. You no leave. No leave. 
All right, they are trapped. Uh, I had a water bucket here. Where is my last lead, fellas? Who's the guy that thought it would be cool to eat? There it is. Don't eat my leads. Okay, you guys, you guys should have some sexy time straight away. I need you to come over here, family gathering. Okay, you and you, and you and you. Have fun. That, no, that's not what I asked. Oh, it's so adorable. Oh, look at that. Oh. So what what I was thinking of uh, right here, I'm going to have glass panes just so you can see in. And uh, I don't know how I'm going to get in. I'll think of an easy way to get in and out that won't let the sheep out. Let the sheep out. Ooh. Okay, and then um, what's going to be here is going to be the color of the wool of the sheep in there. I think that'll be cool because you'll have like a rainbow of colors coming down here. Glass panes on top of them. Experience orbs just like swirling around your head. You know how it is. You know the deal. What happened to it? Huh? Look at this guy. Oh, he's so adorable. Oh. And normally, like the zombie pig men, they have like a face going on top of them. A pig face. But this, since this guy's so small, he just has a skull, so he looks even scarier than a normal guy. That's adorable. Anyways, I've been working on the sheep farm and it's it's pretty much done. This video has spanned the length of like five days in real life. And uh, if you can tell by the difference in sound quality, I have my mic stand. I didn't have a, I don't have a pop fil pop filter yet, and you can probably hear that <laughs> because whenever I do something like you can like hear a big feedback. But just know that that's very temporary and will be fixed very soon. It's just uh, the pop filter was put on back order for whatever reason, just to for you know just to tick me off that's how it works musician's friend is pretty good though i like them so i've been i've just been breeding sheep around here and making little cavities i'm trying to start to get like two in every little chamber and uh all the chambers are going to just be uh, uh for different colors the way of getting in is still something that i have to figure out but I, what i was thinking is just having like a hallway that i'd be digging back here and uh here and it would just go all the way around and uh, allow me to get in easily without letting the sheep out potentially and i'm just gonna have to figure that out off camera but i just wanted to let you guys know i also put cobblestone here because the little guys kept falling in here even though there were glass panes and it looks really nice with cobble i think i should start using cobble more often because it looks really good with the stone kind of family that theme that I'm, I have for my entire house. So I'm going to start using cobble a lot more often. Uh, I'll get back to you when I actually get all the entrances put in. And hopefully I'll have a bunch more sheep and I can start dyeing them. I got my texture pack back. So many changes have happened during this episode. I got the new audio and I got the texture pack. Like every time that I stop to do a cut I find something new to do. And I get distracted. Also, that pick that I had that was like a super pick, it had Efficiency 5, Unbreaking 3, and uh, Fortune 2. It costs 35 levels to repair with one diamond. So, <laughs> I don't think we're going to be using that that often because that's ridiculous. At least until we have the Enderman farm, I don't think that's a really, really a, use, a doable pick. So, I just have a Unbreaking 3, one of the crappy ones that you guys gave me. But um, I have the, uh, the um, I don't know what you call them, the canals, so you can get to the sheep. And uh, it, it's pretty simple. It's just got a trap door so you can get back up and the sheep can't do the same. Now what took me the longest is finding this arsenal of dyes right here. <laughs> I had to scour through all of my belongings and craft each and every one of these and I think I have them all. Now uh, I think I'm going to put them in like a certain order. So I'm going to have like white and then I'll have light gray. Where is light gray? Light gray. All right, you're going to be light gray. And I'll give them some wheat so they can start breeding. Yeah! Very nice. Do the same for the the white, just so they're not forgetting. Okay, I also want to thank you guys for our, all the response that I got on my last video when I asked that, uh, the, the, the question of the of the show. <laughs> I still don't have a, a good name for it, but I'll think of something. Uh, gray. You guys will be gray. So yeah, I'm gonna stick to be, to just Minecraft because that was obviously obviously the uh, the popular response. Uh, I'm okay with that. And uh, 
yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be doing that every show because I don't really have a lot to ask, really. <laughs> I mean, like, what's your favorite color? It's kind of, it's it's not as, uh, I don't know. I think I'm only going to ask those questions when it's kind of important, when I need to. When I don't need to, I don't want to ask a question just to force you to get force to get an answer out of you that's kind of stupid so uh i'm gonna continue dying these guys and i'll get back to you as soon as i'm done and then i'll wrap it up i think that's just about it all right i think i got it done all of it it's finito finito look at all the the nationalities we got in here we got every single color represented and uh, it should be easy to get in. I'll keep breeding these guys until I have like about 10 per chamber. I don't want it to be too crowded, but I want to get a lot out of this. Otherwise, it's just kind of pointless. I was thinking back here. This kind of is just another entrance into the... Uh, it's another way to get out of the, the like canals where you can go in and harvest. But I was thinking like making a room like back this way. Or just making this whole area into a room that's like an automatic wool sorter. So I just like go in after I'm done shearing and I just throw all the wool I got into a hopper and then it sorts it out in a chest by itself. That is always a consideration, but I'm probably gonna do that later. I'm not gonna do that next episode because I got other things on my mind. Ooh, that was a weird sound. <laughs> all right, so um, yeah, th thanks for bearing with me through all the, uh, the weird changes. And I know that the audio isn't so great now. It might sound uh, like deeper and richer, but I know that the, the P's and the T's are going to get in the way because I don't have my pop filter yet. I ordered them together. You can't blame me. You can blame back order because back order sucks. So I'll have the pop filter in a, a few days and yeah, then it'll be all fine and dandy. This is already so much better because I can type and you guys won't hear me. You won't hear the chung, 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 that you usually hear and I don't have to cancel out that noise. So that's a, a big help for me. I like this. Uh, so anyways, thanks. For, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time.